Hi, today we're gonna to talk about an amazing oil called clove. Let me read to you how important this oil can be to yourself or someone you may know. The common primary uses is to help with tobacco ad um, addictions, to remove them. It's an antioxidant. You can use it for blood clots, candida, cataracts, corns, it's a disinfectant, you can use it when you have a fever, or fungal infections, or if you have herpes simplex, Hodgkin's disease, hormonal balance, hypothyroidism, liver cleansing, lupus, macular degeneration, memory, metabolic, I mean, metabol metabolism balance, mold, muscle aches, muscle pain, osteoporosis, plaque, rheumatoid arthritis, termites, thyroid infection, toothache pain, tumor, like lymphoma, lipoma, viral infections, warts, and wounds. All of those things. This oil is a powerful oil, therapeutically used and for cooking. But let me, this is amazing. The method that this was extracted was from st uh, steam distillation from bud and stems, the clove plant. This is how you use it. There's three ways. You can use this topically, aromatically, or internally. For topically, you would put one drop essential oil to one drop carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil. You would apply to the reflex points or directly on the area of concern. You can rub directly on the gums surrounding an effective tooth, right? On the gums you can do it. You can place on the tongue with the finger to remove a desire to smoke or you can place on the back of the tongue to fight against a tickling cough. So your cough, you're tickling here, but you can put the oil here and it'll help stop the tickle there. Isn't that crazy? I love it. You can diffuse it, but you wanna do it with caution because it might irritate your nasal membranes if it's inhaled directly from the diffuser. So, I mean, if that's if someone's putting their nose right up to the diffuser. Um, if it's just in the air, it shouldn't be too bad. But sometimes if you put it on maybe too many hours during the day, it may bother your nose. So you don't have to use it all day long. Um, you can also put one drop under your tongue, like I said earlier, the internal, or you can put it in your cooking or you can put it in a little vegetable capsule and take it internally as well. Um, this is amazing. I want to show a little scientific studies about it. Um, clove oil demonstrated an ability to prevent the aggravation of platelets that can lead to blood clots and thrombosis, both in vivo and in vitro. So it actually prevents, has the ability to prevent aggravation of the platelets to stop blood clots. Um, I wanted to read, there was something else I think I saw here. Uh, maybe not. Um, so the properties of this oil is analgesic, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-infectious, anti-inflammatory, anti-parasitic, strong antiseptic, anti-tumor, antiviral, disinfectant, antioxidant, and Im immune support. And here's some of the studies. Cinnamon, thyme, and clove essential oils demonstrate an antibacterial effect on several respiratory tract pathogens. Bay, cinnamon, and clove oils reduce production of alpha toxin and intertoxin. Clove oil was found to have very strong radical Scavenging activity as an antioxidant. It was also found to display an anti-fumble effect against tested on candida strains. 
And it goes on and on and on. This book is amazing. It shares the scientific studies on the oils. And if you ever want to get it, it's called Modern Essentials, A Contemporary Guide to the Therapeutic Use of Essential Oils. This is a fifth edition. Actually, they came up, they have a new book now because every year doTERRA gets new oils. And so they make a new book and they show the scientific studies and all the primary uses and they share all kinds of stuff. So that is clove oil. That is amazing oil and um, very beneficial to our system and to our body to help our body heal itself. All right, thanks for watching.